what's going on everybody as always it's a blessing to be here and i got a quick video for y'all speaking about ceo of ripple outraged by the sec's decision and how the lawsuit is taking a long time and i have a small video clip i'll put at the end so just wait for that but let me just quickly get into the briefs so ripple ceo brad garlinghouse stated that he was out outraged with the continued legal case between the firm and the sec so ripple had scored a strings of minor wins in his case against the commission and hold on to his thoughts about brad garlinghouse he tweeted saying this my outrage has grown as the litigation has unfolded there is no recourse there is no consequence to those that brought this lawsuit the SEC's pursuit of a policy objection or objective isn't about a faithful allegiance to the law, it's about power. So when all this was going on, I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible, but when all this is going on, there was rumors that SEC came up to Ripple for a settlement back about a year ago and Ripple denied the settlement. Do you only would deny settlement if you know you'll win the case, number one, or number two, if you know you can settle for lesser payments. So when that happened and they're doing so many things outside of the countries, which I posted a video on YouTube, check it out, over 55 countries, over 120,000 currencies and over 50 five banks or actually over a hundred banks and institutions that are signed with ripple now check uh, check out this video the United States don't really care that the SEC Take a look. i'll tell you a very quick funny story i'll keep it short i was in the middle east last fall and we were meeting with customers i have a, a, one of the ripple team members who's based there it's really early in the morning my time zones are all screwed up we're meeting the ceo of a payments company and uh, you know, but the employee from Team Ripple says, well, why don't you give an update on what's going on at Ripple? And I start talking about the SEC. And after the meeting, he very delicately says to me, no one gives a shit. And his point was, if you're not in the United States, you know, the, the governments in Abu Dhabi, governments in Switzerland, Singapore, uh, UK, Japan, they provided the clarity how they view and categorize digital assets and they don't care that the united states sec has a viewpoint that is you know pending in court